Now, if you've ever wondered what happens to all those old tyres, well, here is one use for them. We're at the home of Soul Rebels, and the punt is entirely intended because what they make here is a rather special kind of shoe. The other part of the process is that they use homespun cotton fabric. This is the beginning with these ladies here doing the spinning. It's an ancient skill, but they're using it in a modern way. Now, the thing about private sector companies like this is that they're breathing new life into Ethiopia's once faltering economy. Nine years ago, when the company began, there were just five workers here. Today, that number is 120. And much of that success is down to one woman. Her name is Bethlehem Telahun Alimu, and she's here with us. She's also on Forbes' list of 100 most powerful women in the world. Congratulations on that. What are you proudest of? Thank you. Uh, we're proud that we create a job opportunity here, and we're paying five times than the other companies are paying here locally uh, in Ethiopia. And we're doing that by just giving, by empowering our own people and giving give them the chance to come into work here. And your shoes can be bought, well, all around the world? Yes, people can buy our product everywhere because we are a global brand now. People can buy it online in different major cities. We do have flagship stores, including Taiwan, Japan, Sudan, and Austria. And we're about to open in London also. And here we have a finished product, a rather funky shoe. I can just see myself reading the news in one of these. The important thing about a company like this is that it's helped reduce the number of people living in poverty by about a third. And for a country like Ethiopia, that is a win-win.